The thing relating it to Luxembourg, maybe it's too dark. Oh. <laughs> Okay, first question. What film meeting person experience made you want to make films? Oh, so I would say uh, I would go back to my childhood when my parents bought our first family camcorder. So that was a nice occasion to try and experiment uh, with film. Then when I was in high school, I must say I was also quite uh, inspired by a teacher we had. He's a Luxembourgish film historian who's called Paul Lash and he gave us courses on, on film history and we analyzed film also so that was I would say an interesting step if we're talking about films or filmmakers I think I was quite inspired also by David Lynch at the beginning because I, I like this subject of underlying darkness under really nice appearances and I can somehow relate to that also <laughs> so it's really interesting to dive into this uh, kind of subjects. Um, so, the second. Why do we continue to make films today? Because we need them, they entertain us, they make us laugh, but I think they are also a way to confront our fears, but at, at a safe distance. Uh, films are a good way for people to deal at a safe distance with all the subjects that uh, they are preoccupied with. Next question. What is your favorite part of the filmmaking process? I like all of it actually. I mean writing is a lot of experimenting around with your characters and you fall in love somehow with your character and you have to I think. Then you, you try around with, with their backstories, with all the surroundings. So that's really interesting. The shooting is, is extremely exciting because there is something you wrote down and then you see it become reality somehow. So that is quite an impressive experience and a huge privilege. I think I always consider it an enormous privilege to be able to do films, so everything about it is cool. <laughs> What's your next project? I think my next project is a short film, which I do not want to talk too much about it, but it's about uh, intergenerational relationships, so psychologically and how we relate to elder people and about their place in society. Next. What advice would you give to aspiring filmmakers? Don't let people tell you that you cannot do it. <laughs> I think an important advice is also to really work from the beginning all the time and simultaneously on different projects because uh, one project might not get financed or you will not uh, find uh, people who support it in, in many ways. So it's always good to have like several projects uh, on the go, which is not always easy, but uh, that's the way you should work. Can you discuss the role of film festivals and their impact on your career? I haven't done that many film festivals, but what I like about it, and when people think about film festivals, they very often think about the glamour and the presenting the film in a very official context. But what is really important about it is the people you meet. People you meet and you talk about your film, you talk about their films, and I think the, the meeting and the relationship aspect of it, especially from the filmmaker's perspective is absolutely the most important one. So you make films because you want them to be seen and not necessarily to win prizes all the time. So yeah, that's what I think. If you could collaborate with the person of your choice, your dreams, who would it be and why? That's not such an easy question, but I think it would be certain actors like I mean, the easy one would be to say Robert De Niro, of course, because I always admired him from my childhood. Yeah, let's, let's stick with De Niro, it would be a really nice choice. <laughs> what do you find most challenging and rewarding about being a filmmaker? 
that for many parts of the process you are quite alone actually. So when you come to the set you're really really surrounded by people and you have a whole team but before that you go to a long process where you are alone or you have your producer to, to, to help you or to, to support you. It can be challenging at times because you're questioning yourself when you have people besides you and working in a team maybe when harder times come you help each other more as opposed to when you're alone sometimes you have to to be able to psychologically pull yourself out the most rewarding about being a filmmaker i would say is when the universe you created on paper comes to life so that's a very humbling experience actually my name is frank rotz i'm a filmmaker and cut